Well, it's been said, the deeper you go into an old piece of farm equipment, and I'm sure it applies to a lot of things, the more problems you're gonna find, and this is today's rendition of that. This is leaking out of the uh, clutch housing, which I think is common with the entire transmission and rear end set up on this thing and uh man it's kind of frustrating i think it's the input seal for the transmission like all that stuff behind the clutch i'm not a mechanic but that's my guess so considering that this is formed in like two or three hours yeah that's not good in fact i would venture to say there's a good chance unless this started from the tractor sitting which is always a possibility i'd venture to say there's a good chance this is why they parked the tractor in the first place because that's probably about a six dollar seal uh, the problem is you have to split the tractor right there to get to it. Ah! All right, well, so you know what? Now we know there's going to be a future build where if I'm doing that, I'm going to throw a new clutch in it as well because the parts aren't that expensive, and I'm sure this one is not exactly mint condition. I mean, it might actually be the original clutch. This thing was uh, one of the early tractor backhoe loader setups, so it probably didn't. actually drive that much it was just used a lot in a stationary or close to stationary position because it looked like they used the backhoe a whole lot more than the loader on it uh, but whatever the case I guess we'll do that probably new throwout bearing because we're in there anyway and whatever the heck else so it is frustrating but and I guess a rear main seal for this engine because not taking chances on that you know this is why I always say if you're working on a piece of equipment like this and you have the chance to replace any seals in it any like if you're taking a component off and there's you know and it's not that much more work to change a seal and something next to it just go ahead and do it because in my very limited experience it probably either needs it already or it's going to in the next you know near future if the seals already 50 or 70 years old or whatever so if it's right there and it's not that much more trouble just go for it So, in the spirit of everything being as difficult and frustrating as humanly possible, the aftermarket bolts do not work with the aftermarket rims, both of which are supposed to be factory spec. And uh, this head, even though it's supposed to fit, it's too tight to fit into the, uh, the loops on the rim. And it's also kind of a little bit short coming out the backside with this factory spec wheel center, which is like twice as thick as the ones that left the factory on this tractor. One of the most frustrating parts about working on equipment like this is the parts availability. Ford, their agricultural division, basically doesn't exist. It's been bought out and traded hands who knows how many times. I bet they don't sell these bolts except for if they do, and they're probably 10 bucks a bolt or something. So they'd probably be cost prohibitive if they do. And the problem is, you can see here, this is the, uh, the wheel center that came on this tractor. You can see that's maybe 3 16 uh, thick perhaps a little bit less this is the aftermarket one and uh, it's like at least three eighths if not more the reason for this and be aware of this if you work on equipment like this this wheel pattern is next to universal you know it came on tractors like this which are somewhere around 40 horsepower so you know the thinner centers are fine uh, but they used it on like 50 60 maybe even some 70 horsepower tractors and that's just Ford and
Cassandra. I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odessa. You remember? Of course I do. You told me to stay. Seems like you're doing that. Not by choice. You asked if I wanted to be remembered or to be happy. Well, taking care of my sick father does not make me happy. No wonder you're upset. You want to be out exploring, but you're stuck here instead. I'm glad somebody gets it. If you don't like it, do something about it. Not until my father is better. I need to get a couple of things for him. Maybe you could help me. Don't worry, I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get them yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by in case he gets worse. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. Υπερβάλλει.